Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Stream Analytics. And we will create a job using Azure Portal. What is Azure Stream Analytics? Azure Stream Analytics is a real-time analytics and complex event processing engine that is designed to analyze and process high volumes of host streaming data from multiple sources simultaneously. Patterns and relationships can be identified in information extracted from a number of input sources, including devices, sensors, click streams, social media feeds, and applications. These patterns can be used to trigger actions and initiate workflows such as creating alerts, feeding information to a reporting tool, or storing transformed data for later use. Stream Analytics is available on Azure IoT Edge Runtime and supports the same exact language or syntax as Cloud. Using Azure Stream Analytics is easy to use and it is real-time analytics service that is designed for mission-critical workloads. We can build an end-to-end -end serverless streaming pipeline with just a few clicks. And we can go from zero to production in minutes using SQL that is easily extensible with custom code and built-in machine learning capabilities for more advanced scenarios. We can run our most de demanding workloads with the confidence of a financially backed SLA. Here are few examples where you can use Azure Stream Analytics. Analyze real-time telemetry streams from IoT devices, web logs, clickstream analytics, remote monitoring and predictive maintenance of high-value assets, real-time analytics on point-of-sale data for inventory control and anomaly detection. How does stream analytics work? An Azure stream analytics job consists of an input, query, and an output. Stream Analytics ingests data from Azure Event Hubs, Azure IoT Hub, or Azure Blob Storage. The query, which is based on SQL query language, can be used to easily filter, sort, aggregate, and join streaming data over a period of time. You can also extend this SQL language with JavaScript and c -sharp user defined functions. You can easily adjust the event ordering options and duration of time windows when performing aggregation operation through simple language construct and our configurations. Each job has an output for transformed data and you can control what happens in response to the information you have analyzed. Example, you can send data to services such as Azure Functions, service post topics or queues to trigger communications or custom workflows downstream. And you can send data to Power BI dashboard for real-time dashboarding and store data in other Azure storage services to train a machine learning model based on historical data or perform batch analytics. Keep capabilities and benefits. Ease of getting started, program productivity, fully managed, low total cost of ownership, reliability, and performance. And I will log into Azure portal now. I will create a job. I'll show you how to define this IoT hub and then how to
create a block storage and how do we create a job and then run the job using SQL query. So I'll log into Azure portal now. I'm in Azure portal now. I'll go to home and go to search option. I'll just type IOT hub. So we can see it under the services IOT hub. Let's click on IOT hub and click on add. And let's create a group, resource group. I'll just say, Stream analytic resource group, and I'll give a IOT hub name. IOT hub, let's just say four five two one. And then there are three pricing plans available: standard, basic, free. This is demo session, so I will just pick. I will just choose free plan. And I will keep this advanced settings same. And let's create this IOT hub. So while this IOT hub is creating, I will go to home and then I will go to search. I will type, I will look for storage accounts and I will click on new storage account. I will deploy this storage. I will keep this storage account under the stream analytics resource group. And let's give a name to the storage account. Storage account stream. And location East US. And replication is say locally redundant and go to networking enable public endpoint advanced let's keep everything same default and create the storage account so both are uh, both are creating iot hub and storage account let's just wait a couple of minutes now both are created let's go to home and then go to resource groups and click on resource groups and we have iot hub and then storage account ready i will click on iot hub i will go to devices so under the explores you can see iot devices click on iot devices and click on new and I'll say my device one. And then keep it enable. Then save this one. Then let's go to storage account. And we will create a container. I will click on container. Then I will give a name, just test container let's just say test container let's create this container now we created iot device and we created a block container now i'll go to home and then go to search i will just type stream analytics job now click on add I'll create a job, I'll give a name, job one, subscription same, and resource group, stream analytics resource group, location East US, and create this. Our deployment in progress. This job is created. I will go to resource groups 
and click on the stream analytics resource group and click on job now we have this job ready now we need to define input and output we'll go to input add stream input that is our iot hub let's say iot input and then our iot hub it is not showing here i think it just take one or two minutes a few minutes to update here let's wait let's give a couple of minutes so let's check again let's go to inputs and add stream input i would help let's give a name what the input then subscription and now we have this i would have four five two one available and then save this input and then input is added now let's click on output add output blob storage i'll just say blob output and this is the storage account we created and then use existing container test container and save it now we added both input and output let's go to query now select star into our output a blob output or just say blob output then from your input alias that is iot input let's, let's save this query and just need to okay let's just save this query for now and i will go back to stream analytics resource group i will go to iot hub then I will go to devices and open the device and copy this primary connection string and then go to Raspberry Azure IoT online simulator and then at the line 15 and just Just copy this connection string and paste paste it here. Now run this. So now it is running, sending messages to IoT Hub. Then I will go back to a job one and I will go to query and edit query. I will just say select star into blob output from IoT input and having temperature it is name 27. Now test, we can test this query. So you can see the progress here. It says testing query. Now success. So let's save this query. Now go to job one. Save this query. Go to job one. Now start this job. Now you can see the progress here, starting streaming job. So the job is running. So what we will see, once this job runs successfully, we will see the output in our blob container.
it is still running so while it is running so i want to show you a few more things here you can if you go to activity log you can see the activity so when we submitted job when this streaming job started all that completed so here we see that streaming job started successfully so let's go and verify if we have how output in or blog container let's go to storage account and go to containers then go to test container refresh it it just takes few minutes now let's just refresh this container let's click on container now we have output file available here let's open this file I'll just download this. Now we can see the output here. What we did, we select star into block container from IoT Hub, having temperature greater than 27. And this is the output file we received in a blob storage, blob container. If you have any questions on this stream analytics, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.